Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. We will make a desktop application using the Choose Slider object. I shared the source code of the application on GitHub account. You can access the source code from the link in the video description. You can follow the YouTube channel to be aware of the more videos like this. We will make a desktop application with the Choose Slider object. I transfer the libraries necessary to make the application. I create the class and build a desktop application from the class I created. I set the app's title and dimensions using the resize and set title functions. I am creating an object using the label function. I adjust the position of the created object using the move function. I am creating another object using the QSlider function. My goal is to show the value of the slider object numerically in the label object. I set the dimensions of the slider object using the set geometry function. I set the initial value of the slider object using the set minimum function. I set the ending value using the set maximum function. Tick objects are sliders pointer. I adjust the dimensions of the indicators using the tick position function. I set the gauge ranges as a unit. Let's run the application and check the objects. When the value of the slider object is changed by the user, I want the value to be displayed numerically in the label object. I can use the value change it function to detect that the slider object has been changed by the user. I am specifying a function name in the value change it property. I am creating a function with the specified name. This function will be called every time the slider object changes. I am changing the text of the label object using the set text function. I am using the adjust size function to synchronize the text size with the label object. Let's run it to test it. When the slider object is changed by the user, its mathematical value is displayed in the label object. Let's change the maximum function. In this way, we will change the range of the slider object. The maximum value is now set to 50. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel to be notified of more videos like this.